Hey, I'm Trevor Bain, and welcome to In Charge Life with an Electric Vehicle. Friends, start your motors and get ready to race around the Tennessee Valley in some of the most exciting new EVs on the market. If you know me, you know that I've been racing since I was five years old, and to this day, I'm still obsessed with anything with wheels. As an NASCAR driver, Daytona 500 champion, and proud father of four, I'm super excited to get behind the wheel and learn more about owning and driving an EV. We're kicking things off with an electrifying road rally down in Memphis, Tennessee, home of the Blues, Bill Street, and Barbecue. It's also the hometown of our big-hearted special guest and Super Bowl champion, Michael Orr. So let's go meet him. Michael, what's hey, up, how's man? how's it going? Doing good, buddy. How Excellent. about you? Great, great, great. Glad to be here in your hometown. Glad to be back, learning <laughs> about EVs. Looking forward to it. We'll have a good time today. And I've got a friend I need to introduce you to, though, that's going to help us kick things off. Actually, here he comes right now. Excellent. What's up, buddy? Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, it's good to see you. Michael, this is Mikel. He's with TVA. And as you know, that's the whole reason we're here today. They've set this big goal to help 200,000 EVs be on the Valley Roads by 2028. And it's our job today to show people how fun, efficient, and easy to own these EVs can be. So it's work if you can get it done. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so what's going on with this road rally business? So today, you and Trevor are going to get behind the wheel of a Mach-E. You're gonna be racing around the city, learning more about EVs and how they're impacting the local economy. My only goal for you guys today is to finish the challenge with charge to spare. And if you do, the barbecue's on me. Pretty good deal. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Great, let's go. Yes, I'm gonna fire off a few questions. As soon as you guys answer at least two correctly, I'll give you your first clue. After that, you're on your own. Question number one. Which American auto manufacturer just announced that they're planning to build a new Blue Oval City to create a new electric vehicle right outside of Memphis? Blue Oval, oh. man. He's giving us too much there, isn't he? Has to be four? Yeah, oh yeah. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> all right, all right. Question number two. How fast does the Mustang Mach-E go from zero to 60? I'm guessing probably somewhere around three seconds. Okay, okay. I can promise guess. you we're going to find out today. That's for sure. <laughs> <I> can't wait. <laughs> all right, the correct answer is 3.6 seconds. So you guys got the questions right. So here's your first clue. Oh, not quite. <laughs> the Mach-E is yeah. fast, but have fun getting up to the speed limit. Michael, we're already in trouble. We ain't got started yet. Let's see how quick we can get to 60, though. Let's do it. All right, first clue. This recording studio is known as the birthplace of rock and roll, but its namesake provides megawatts of power. It's going kind of easy on us on this first clue. Yeah, this solar power stuff is kind of cute. <laughs> let's cruise by Sun Records and see what they have in store. All right, let's check them out. Pit stop, man. <laughs> Jeez. You know it's NASCAR. Come on. All right, good work. This sole record label was founded in 1957 and shared operations with a sister label that now shares a name with one of the first PHEVs. What's the name of the sister label and the trailblazing PHEV? I have the answer to stacks. But what's a PHEV? Well, that's what you got me for, man. All the car questions. PHEV is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, and the car is the Chevy Bolt. Ah, that makes sense. Stacks Bolt. I'll see if I can get us there quick. Good job. Quick. <laughs> I'm not as quick as you on my feet. <laughs> see that. You're a driver. Hey, come on now. <laughs> All right, next clue. This global shipping company headquartered in Memphis is adopting an EV fleet and plans on being carbon neutral by 2040. Is it FedEx? I think you're right, man. Let's go check them out. Let's do it. You said you're a big roller coaster guy, so. Uh oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm a big fan of roller coasters. I might have to go get me one and just do that around town. <laughs> Wow, you guys know how to make an entrance. Mike Moore. Russ Musco with FedEx Express. Hey, Russ. I'm welcome welcome to our house. Thanks for having us Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Sure. We're excited to hear what you guys have going on with EVs. So basically, we're in the middle of scaling EVs around the world. Our goal is to have 25% of our purchases electric vehicles by 2025. And by 2030, we'll have 100% of wow. our purchases electric vehicles. We got electric trucks just about every continent except Antarctica. Excellent. Well, it sounds like you guys are well on the way of hitting your electric vehicle goals. Appreciate you guys for having us. All right, guys, I have your next clue right here. What nearby farm generates five megawatt of energy? Is that that uh, solar farm I've seen on the side of I-40? Is it called Haywood Solar Farm? Is that right? Thank you. Thank you. Right trying, man. There Thank you. you. Appreciate your time, Russ. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for showing up. Hi. 
Hey What's guys? going on? How's it going, Alec? How we doing? Doing Great. good, buddy. How about Welcome. yourself? Welcome Thanks for having the, me, yes, sir. Absolutely. Welcome to the West Tennessee Solar Farm. We wanted to come here to the solar farm and learn more about Tennessee Valley's clean energy mix. Can you tell us more about it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So we've been producing good, clean electricity for uh, the better part of 10 years now. University of Tennessee built this facility back in 2012. It's uh, powering, powering a lot of homes That's awesome, and man. cars. So fossil fuels might be coming from the outside sources, but this is all local, right? The sun's shining right here. It's local West Tennessee sun that's powering these panels. So it's good for the local economy. It's good for the local environment and uh, powers cars that are driving up and down I-40 here. I think we're gonna hit the road again. Excellent. Yes, sir. This is your last stop on your trip, right? You're heading back to back to Memphis. <laughs> Mike, what? Give me the keys, I'll drive. <laughs> Man, you've been a trooper all day. I thought you were gonna ask me for I that. I appreciate this time. that. Let's go. Michael, I've had a great time today getting to know you, learning more about these EVs. But I tell you what, if we got enough charge left, I think we earned some barbecue. I think we got over 50%. Let's check it out. That's solid. Let's go. Don't get scared. Don't get I, saw tree, him, I saw him grabbing the handle hey, over if there. If I ain't driving, man, <laughs> if I ain't driving, I'm hanging on. <laughs> I got in one Daytona 500 and he's afraid. In the driver's seat. That's all for today. Michael, thanks for being such a great sport riding along. 100%. It's my pleasure. It's been a blast. It has been. We're going to head out, but you all should head over to energyride.com and learn more about EVs and find one that's right for you. We'll see you on the next episode of In Charge Life with an Electric Vehicle. Let's go grab that bite to eat.